All right, hey again, honors chemistry. Another variation of using the molarity equation is something like number seven. It says, how many grams of silver nitrate are needed to prepare 250 milliliters of standard 0.1 molar silver nitrate solution? Now, I already have the molar mass here, but this is so important. This involves my favorite equation, molarity times the volume in liters gives me moles. And you know for the last two units involving, including this one, moles is everything I need for stoichiometry. So number seven is going to set us up for starting to do stoichiometry and solutions. So I have molarity and I have a volume here. If I multiply those two, that's going to give me moles. And then the question asks about grams. So I'm going to show you how we do that later with the molar mass. So I'm going to already set this up. Molarity is 0.1 molar. And my volume, I need to convert that to liters. If I divide by 1,000, I will get 0 0.250 liters. Remember, to go from milliliters to liters, I divide by 1,000. So my volume will be 0 0.250 liters. And if I multiply these two, 0 0.100 times 0 0.250, I get 0 0.0250 moles of AgNO3. All right, so my favorite equation, I'm telling you, favorite, Mr. T, Mr. T's favorite equation. Molarity times volume in liters is equal to moles. This helps you solve so many things with stoichiometry. If you know how to do this, boom, any stoichiometry problem becomes easy. Um, so I got my molarity was already given to me. To remind you again, how did I get my volume in liters? I divided by 1,000, and that gave me my moles. And then it's asking for grams. Moles times molar mass is equal to grams. So... I have 0 0.0250 moles already calculated. My molar mass, I calculated before, 169.87 grams per mole. And if I do this math, I will get the amount of grams I need for the solution, 0 .20, 0 0.0250 times 169.87. I get 4.25 grams of AgNO3. And that's how I answer this question. It says, how many grams of silver nitrate are needed to prepare 250 milliliters? And if I wanted to prepare it, I would take 4.25 grams of AgNO3 and dissolve it in 250 milliliters of water. And if I were to do the calculation, that would give me 0.1 molar. All right, so I've done many different examples of using the molarity equation and rearranging it and doing it different ways. My next set of videos are going to involve stoichiometry and solutions and using this equation.